Your station for up-to-the-minute news, intelligent, interactive, and engaging conversation. 96.9 FM. The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Network. From what day you may find out, certain people not like me. Everyone got a spaghetti thing now. Make sure me I do it like Nike. But me not fear no guy now. No matter how hard they must fight me. Me just a go and do me thing now. Me just a do it like Nike. 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 Swapping Heads with Naughty is brought to you by BTC, Burger King, the Cancer Treatment Centers of America, the Cleveland Clinic, Dunkin' Donuts, Fine Threads, Janae's Uniform Center, John's Department Store, Joker's Wild, Click, KFC, the Ministry of Agriculture and Marine Resources, Naughty Johnny's, Percy's Island Games, and Tropical Gyros. Plus me and the Cuban are linked up. Rose gold for the Cuban linked up. How much ice does a hurt and the ring up? Okay. From what day you may find out, certain people don't like me. Everyone talk a smack a thing now. Big straw me, I do it like Nike. But me not fear no guy now. No matter how hard they must fight me. Me just a go and do me thing now. Me just a do it like Nike. 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 If I tell you the truth, if I were you, then me probably woulda like me neither. Fresh to the top, and again, them said the flow and godly, my mind need Jesus. Girls call cookies when my mind need river. Yeah, all when my frost, they can't stand me neither. Yeah, excellent, point blank. July 28th edition of Talking Heads is on and popping. Your boy, not any company, right up until 6 p.m. We are live, Dunkin' Donuts, Carmichael location, getting it in. You know, it's the free-for-all Friday edition when I get out, out of studio. Get to one of my favorite Dunkin' locations. Get you running on Dunkin' right into the weekend. And we chop it up. Had a great session the whole week long. We're going to wrap it up on a good note today. We're going to keep the lines open. So we get to all that goodness. But like I said, we are live. Dunkin' Carmichael location getting it in. And of course, you know, get ready for summer, man. It is all about that uh, strawberry cheesecake latte. All right, got summer sipping a Dunkin' with their new strawberry cheesecake latte, iced latte. All right, enjoy one today paired with a delicious strawberry frosted donut. Great flavor profile right there, and it's all good, and it's waiting on you. At your favorite Dunkin' location, downtown Bay Street, Paradise Island, Palmdale, Bernard Road with the drive through East Street South with the drive through Carmichael, the newest location, and, of course, out at the airport, pre-clearance, post-clearance, and arrivals. So, you know, no reason for you not to be running on Dunkin'. And like I said, we're live at the uh, Carmichael location, getting it in on this uh, Friday edition. And uh, you know how to chime in. We're going to open up the lines for you today, again, because we still got lots to talk about. Uh, in New Providence, 323-6232, 325-4316, That's in New Providence, toll free. Albaco, Grand Bahama, any one of the family islands, 242-300-5720. 242-300-5720. Text lines powered by BTC, 422-GR96. That's 422-4796. Stream us live. Take us wherever you want to go, guardiantalkradio.com. That's guardiantalkradio.com. Cable channel 969, BTC flow channel 612. That's how you get it in. That's how you get it on. For, you know, all which you love right here at Guardian Talk Radio 96.9 FM. All right. So now we got that out of the way. Let me hit you with your trivia. And I got to double it up for you today. Because, boy, I stomped you all the whole week. I don't know what's going on with y'all. Y'all had some good answers, too. Don't get me wrong. Just not the right ones. So here's what we're working with today. You know we're playing for Dunkin' Coupons. Joker's Wild Party Passes. Lunch or dinner your choice from Muddy Johnny's. All right. Here we go. All right. 
right, let me see what I'm working with. What is in here? That's surprising. Oh. Okay. It's solid right here. Recent survey of 100 Bahamian men, all married. They said, in a recent survey, revealed that 37% or 37 out of 100 say they never do this without asking their wife first. What is it? That's your brain teaser. You got between now and the news and the top of the 5 o'clock hour to get chances in. Recent survey of 100 Bahamian men, all married. Survey revealed that 37% or 37 out of 100 say they never do this without asking their wife first. What is it? That's your brain teaser. While you work on that, I'm going to work on, you know, getting you the headlines. And you know how to chime in and the lines are open. Okay, let's go to the phone line. Let's get to Sparky and the other front hold. Just hold. I'll get to you. You know how Sparky go. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio 96.9. Who's this? A pleasant good afternoon. A pleasant good afternoon, Bucket Ratchet Mouth Goblin. Yes, well, you know, really, I've had to call you really early today to get to get my, my point across to you. Give me that moment. Go ahead, As you're Sparky. quite aware, there's some rumors and there's some big talk about one or two particular voice notes and videos that the Goblin has sent out. And I have a bone to pick with you regarding one, but we'll do that at the end. Yes, we'll do that later. In regards to some, um, some bad language. Most people are concerned not about the content, about the bad language that but little I don't bit of care anger about the bad language. in me. But I, I want to say, uh, Dottie, if you give me a moment, cable has been down in the Pride Estate area for two days, no Wi-Fi, no home phone, no TV, no nothing. And for God's sake, something must have happened. Because just as your show started, the TV, the phone, the Wi-Fi, and they opened up. You must be a blessed angel from heaven with a bent nose. Take that joke. But I wanted to say it emphatically clear, um, Naughty, that Jean Vincent Dunlop DePaul Sparky Fountain pledges his allegiance to the PLP party and to the Prime Minister of the Bahamas, Mr. Philip Edward Brave Davis. Without a shadow of doubt, that is how I go. There are some things went out there that I was angry with about some of the, what we call, goons around the king that tells the king that he has on a nice outfit when the king is naked. And when I, say something, now? when I say something that might be in disagreement to what the average TLP might agree with, it is for the betterment of the party, not to damage the party. This is my feeling. And I think, Naughty, like we always said, the time has come for me and a lot of my people my age that I know that grew up in the valley. That it's all about the Bahamian people now and our children and our grandchildren. It's not about the PLP party or the FNM or the UBB and the DNN and the COI. But what hurt me yesterday, a lot of people came around to my house agreeing, disagreeing, but we had men and women we're just chit-chatting about the situation. A lot of Bahamians are hurting, and we see a lot of our elites running away with the bone and leaving us behind. This is nothing I'm saying against Mr. Philip Edward Brave Davis, but for the sake of the Bahamas, let's think more about giving everything to the foreigners, whether they come from the south, whether they come from the east, where they come from the north, the northeast, and wherever else have you. It's about the commonwealth of the Bahamas and our people. Our people, Naughty, getting the piece of the pie. We're the ones supposed to be giving the crumbs out. You understand where I'm coming from, Naughty? I got you. This is what I believe. This is what Sparky believes. What anybody out there thinks, that is their business. I call myself a die-hard PLP. But I, don't, I would say the party, but that don't mean that I, I can't stand up as a man 
a 72-year-old man, and tell the king, hey, man, we got to check something before it go too far, because I, as a human being in the Commonwealth of the Bahamas, I am tired of every five years, we just taking care of a few elites, and they go off into the sunset, sunset and be able to live in peace for themselves and their families, and the rest of us can't even afford to bury ourselves. When I see people in my time, in my time growing up, every day lining up on the side of Wolf Road to get food, and, and, East, and, and Market Street South by First Baptist Church to get food, and the singing bishop feeding 1,600 people a day, I think the time has come where well, we got to do something. Now, before I go, I want to say this last thing. One of my dearest friends that owns a club in the East, where I frequently visit, and every time I get paid naughty, I go there and I say, including the owner and the bartender, give everybody a round. When that gentleman comes up to me on voice note in our group and say, he think I'm a sellout, and I'm being paid by another political party to do those voice notes, I want him to know something. If they have to take a little contract with me for cleaning the park, then so be it. But I will be standing up for my country and my children and my grandchildren, despite it. If they have to victimize me, Naughty, I was living before the contract. You understand what I come from, Naughty? And I was there, but I will fight for my country. And to that gentleman, he just lost a good customer who would come up there every, every weekend and buy a round for even him and his bartender to accuse Sparky of selling out the PLP and talking bad to the Prime Minister. Mr. Brave Edward Davis, I on your side, but watch some of the people around you. Because remember, El Brutai, it was Brutus, the friend of Caesar, that stabbed Caesar in the back. Mr. Prime Minister, watch some of them around you. Remember, King Henry VIII was Sir Thomas More's best friend. Who cut off Sir Thomas More's head? His best Jesus friend. Thank you. Thank Thank you. You made your point about it and clear, man. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Enjoy your brown bottles. Let's get to the other caller. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio, and I'm going to explain that. Who's that? Hey, afternoon, Naughty GNN. Hey, what's going on, GNN? I don't know whether to say cry, baby. It's our line, wash your face at 99. I ain't sure what to say. Yeah, this time, with Sparky, you know, Sparky always is cover and go, but anyway. Now, GNN. Hey. One day did I give Sparky the benefit of doubt on today. Yeah, I, I, I think contract. so. That's why. He's like, baby, yeah, come from a contract, I don't care. Yeah. I, I got to talk this. That yeah, speaks that's volumes for Sparky. Yeah, that's why I say I ain't sure that I should take that song because he. I think he hold a little bit, but that's it. I call again today to educate the Bahamian people, okay? Because our leaders, naughty, they lying, they covering for one another, and they really think the Bahamian people are going to be continuous fools in this next 50 years. I am an ex-power technician at Patelco, trained. Hands on power that. technician. So when BPL, I want to educate the Bahamian people, when BPL or BTC ordered their power equipment or any specialty equipment, expensive equipment from a company, what that company does is you pay for the equipment, they send the equipment that you ordered, and they sent their technicians to install it. This is for insurance purposes and all of that. What BPL and the telco engineers do, from that equipment lands on the dock, they are a part of that and the installation with those white fellas, with the white boys that come to install it. When the installation is done, the engineers at BPL or Patelco oversee that equipment with the installers. They test it, they test it, they run it, they test it. When our engineers are satisfied that that equipment is running up to standard, it is now called turnkey. The 
white boys and the company turns the, in, the, the equipment over to the Bahamian engineers. The Bahamian people would now take care of the, uh, of the equipment, the installed equipment. Also, those equipment come with a warranty. You understand? So you don't just turn that key and say, okay, one and done. They come with year two or three, maybe four, seven, what it is, five-year warranty. Any Janet, problems we encounter? Huh? Let me ask you this one point, though. Go ahead. I get what you're saying, and I appreciate you breaking it down for the masses, especially with your experience. But um, if I'm not mistaken, didn't this administration cancel the contract and then hire like, some of the members of the company on as, as consultants? Well, see, I was going to get down to that political thing because that's exactly what this is. This is more political than anything else and covering for the shame face that the general manager, he let me down, had to cover for the prime minister because obviously the prime minister, he don't know nothing technical. That's why he yeah, said you know, what he you said. Know the CEO got a cover for the PM. He, he was appointed by this administration. Exactly. He had to turn around after Dwight's show and now covering for the prime minister, which is all about your hullabaloo. See, what they don't understand is the humans, there are some of us out here that are trained and educated in all of this stuff, what they're talking. Now, BPL engineers may can't talk about it because they were there. And some of them got contracts. But that's why I called to break it down for the Bahamian people. After the turnkey operation, if there was anything that BTC or BPL engineers thought I was wrong with that equipment, the white boys would have not have turned that key. What they would have done was repair it or replace it. You see, that's what they, that's what they normally do. They repair it or they replace it. Once you see we take charge of that, that means all is good, green light, all is gold. Cool. Now, I don't know if the prime minister don't know the meaning of tri fuel. He must be thinking that's a new type of fuel uh, mm -hmm. on the market. But no, <laughs> what that means is the engine, the word seller engine, can operate either on bunker C fuel, which is the cheapest, diesel fuel, which is a very expensive, or LNG. They could operate the engines, could, could, could alternate between any one of them if that's what you want to use. But so now I don't if you know connect the dots, you'll see why we use Bunker C. Hold on. I, hold on. I get that. I thought you're too fast. You're too smart. Now, let's see, Miller. Listen, there's so something yesterday that two of the engines down there are feeding BPL to private engines. Feeding BPL, so BPL gotta pay them for for the for, for the energy for the for the electricity. They're those private engines given to BPL. Who owns the private engine? Who call? Frankie Wilson. Them. You they gotta own ask that. a question. You gotta Pardon? ask a question. That's a question I, you're asking, right? I did ask a question. I asked him. Who owns right. the engine? Full court. Now, see, good why, are they, why are they trying to downgrade the what seller engine is because many of them order them under their government and it ain't had nothing to do with the PLP tools that will put their engines down there so they could finish, rape, and rob and pillage the Bahamas. Because what the Prime Minister them is saying don't make no sense to us engineers who well train out there. And I wanted to break that down for the Bahamian people. There's nothing wrong with those engines. And if those engines were faulty and the Bahamian engineers accepted them like that, then who problem that is? Whose problem that is? That's Listen. our problem. And all the engineers should be fired. And That's share. the way that is done. Hey, eh? I need you for something else. Go ahead. Come, come September, I can let you know a date. You really go try hard to organize this march. I oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need engineers together. Them same disgruntled engineers are scratching their head. I need yeah. you to round up all of them for me. Well, Daddy, you don't leave it too. All right. Yeah, I, know I hope you everything come goes from, well you know. for you. I hope you, you have remember? a good weekend. You, and look forward you, to hearing you, from you next week. Listen, you remember, I know where you come from. See, this is this, 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 this something you're behaving. 
You remember? Yeah, DJ Naughty Day, 94.9 FM. You remember that? Boy, look here. <laughs> 72,000. <000. laughs> Killer Bees, Supersonic, Bionic, Bubonic, Chronic Mix, every so Friday and I Saturday. I know that's, where that's you come from, Naughty start. So I with your mask because I know where you come from. My brother, but I appreciate you. Round yeah, I just wanted to ask for me, all right? Yeah, man. Have a good weekend. Okay. Yeah, man. All right, Mr. Same producer, man. let's get to that first break. And on the flip side of the break, we'll uh, get into the headliners. Brought you quest by Fine Threads. Then we'll get into the bars by John Shoes. And we'll uh, get into the global warming. We'll see another planet uh, in 60 seconds or less. Brought to you by KFC Nassau. And I'll take another Dunkin' Donuts coffee break. All right, we're live. Dunkin' Carmichael getting it in. It's time for me to get one of them uh, strawberry cheesecake ice lattes right now. My guilty confession, my second one. I'm going in. I'll tell you how good it is on the flip side of the break. Keep it right where you got it. The Friday, July 28th edition of Talking Heads continues right after this. Fried chicken, mashed potatoes with gravy, and a hot buttery biscuit for only $5. That's genius. Part of the KFC Genius menu, the KFC $5 snack box delivers on flavor and value. Need to feed more than one? KFC's Great Picks has got you covered. Packed with four thighs and four legs, fried to golden perfection, plus four buttery biscuits for only $20. More genius. Hungry for deals? The Genius Menu at KFC. It's finger licking good. Cancer Treatment Centers of America is now City of Hope, creating one of the leading cancer care and research networks from coast to coast, providing more of what you need. More locations means more care closer to home. More specialists means more expertise. More research means more breakthroughs. More advancements means more treatment options. And more options means more hope. Learn more at CancerCenter.com. We go everywhere. Shop early at Janae's Chesapeake Road Annual Back to School Sale going on now. Get up to 20% off on all school items in stock. Yes, all school items in stock. Shirts, jumpers, skirts, boys long and short pants, school neckties, PE shorts, and a variety of colors and school monograms. Shop early and don't miss out at Janae's Uniform Center Chesapeake Road's Annual Back to School Sale going on now. Remember, we go everywhere. Beat the rush and save, save, save at Janae's Annual Sale now. I don't we're gonna give you a check every week for a year. Percy Pension Plan, Island Game, keep you in it. Percy Pension Plan, Dream Big, we will help you live it. Percy Pension Plan, Island Game, we got you. Percy Pension Plan, from the friends you can trust. If winning is a must, come play the game you know, cause your best chance is with us. The most trustworthy neighbors. Percy's Island Games, so put 20 on your account and ride this easy train at Percy's Island Games. Ready for something very delicious this summer? Introducing the new Dunkin' Strawberry Cheesecake Ice Latte. Enjoy the bold flavors of Dunkin' Espresso and sweet, luscious strawberry, all topped with velvety whipped cream and irresistible cookie crumbles for a match made in latte heaven. Make Dunkin' Strawberry Cheesecake Ice Latte your go-to beverage this summer. The Bahamas runs on Dunkin'. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. On the Friday, July 28th edition of Talking Heads, we're live. Duncan Donuts, Michael location, getting it in. And listen, man, I told you, it is all about those strawberry cheesecake ice lattes. Off the chain. Okay? Strawberry cheesecake lattes, they are all good. The ice latte version, man, let me tell ya. Wow, 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 very nice. Get it by itself, get it with a donut combo. Get it with one of your favorite Dunkin' sandwiches. It's all good. And it's waiting on you at your favorite Dunkin' location. Downtown Bay Street, Paradise Island, Palmdale. 
Bernard Road with the drive-thru. East Street South with the drive-thru. Carmichael, the newest location where we're live. Out at the air, pre-clearance, post-clearance, and of course, arrivals. So no reason for you not to be running on Duncan. And don't forget, uh, it's all about fine threads. And I got a little FYI for you. I'd like to keep you in the know and get you where you want to go. Fine threads. Huge sidewalk sale going on today and tomorrow, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Flagship store, Top of the Hill, Mackey Street location only. But you definitely want to take advantage of that. Up to 50% off. For more info, simply log on to finethreads.com. And don't forget, John's is the authorized distributor of Chef Work Chefware, the most respected global culinary brand. John's carries chef jackets, chef pants, aprons, and hats, all designed to keep culinary professionals cool and comfortable. John's is also now carrying chef knife sets by Mercer Culinary Tools that make for a better chef. All of this available for you at John's Careware, Rosetta Street and Carmichael, both locations available for you 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Monday through Saturday. And don't forget, click. Is proud to be 50, so the Bear of the Bahamas has decided to give you the chance to be one of five $1,000 cash prize winners. Every week starting June 30th, you can enter to win $1,000 at participating liquor stores and bars. Just purchase a three-pack of Click and write your name, number, and email address on the back of your receipt and enter to win. Keep on listing out. You could be a lucky winner of $1,000 courtesy of Click. And don't forget, Bahamas, connect with your loved ones this summer with a bucket of delicious KFC fried chicken. Sharing is caring. So this summer, let's bucket together, Bahamas. KFC signature buckets make the perfect addition to any party or beach picnic. Complete with delicious fried chicken and sides you love. KFC buckets have got you covered this summer. Nobody does chicken like KFC. Let's bucket together this summer, 242. All right. Now that they got all of that out of the way, Let's check out the headliners. Who are what's making headlines in the 242? I'll brought you across by Fine Threads. Listen, people. Phone lines are open. Chime on in. What's your take on big headline today in The Guardian? Protect civil servants who expose the truth. And this coming from the uh, leader of the opposition. Pintard suggests PM more concerned about leaks than revelations on the truth. Opposition leader Michael Pintard chided Prime Minister Philip Davis and Minister of Labor and Immigration Keith Bell in the House of Assembly yesterday for failing to answer more comprehensively questions connected to recent immigration controversies, saying that Davis is more concerned with who is leaking information than the truth that's being revealed. Well, if we had a proper whistleblower act, Freedom of Information Act, if the Procurement Act wasn't repealed by this administration, we'd have a lot to know. And we'd have, we'd have platforms to find out. And this administration campaigned on accountability and transparency. Pah! Where? Where? Please tell me. And anybody with an ounce of conscience that decides to say something about the misdealings of this administration comes under public scrutiny and attack. It's not right. So I give, you know, Mr. Pintard, kudos on this. It's something that needs to be addressed. And maybe if certain administrations weren't so politicized, or departments weren't so politicized, and every five years there was a shake-up and a shake-down, they could run efficiently, and the Bahamas could run efficiently. Because at the end of the day, it needs to be country first. And have the mechanisms in place that we can function. You can't have people seeing something wrong, knowing it's wrong, saying it's wrong, and then getting punished for it. Or attacked publicly. Or by political trolls. Not cool. So yeah, let me get you on that. MPs passed protection against violence bill. Despite opposition from women's rights groups uh, to the government's decision to proceed with the Protection Against Violence Bill, Prime Minister Philip Davis, while in the House of Assembly yesterday, led debate on the bill, noting that it is more inclusive than the gender-based violence bill initially proposed. Now, in a statement late Wednesday night, Women United Bahamas Urban Youth Development Center 
Women of Strength Association, Everyone Council Organization, Marion Bethel Sears, on behalf of the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women. Andrew B. Jones wrote, The House of Assembly is set to begin debate on the protection against violence on, on Thursday, July 26th. This bill is not the bill that women's rights groups worked on for more than a decade. The bill we worked on and, and, and consented to was the gender-based violence bill. So all those groups said, we consented to the gender-based violence bill. That's what we worked on for a decade. Not this bill that was passed. Seems pretty disingenuous on behalf of this administration. And then, why was it not passed? And now, for those who have, have been long proponents, myself included, for the legalization and decriminalization of medicinal, recreational, and sacramental marijuana, you know it's coming with that bill. Not that they put it out there long enough to the right entities to get what they really needed because it's lacking now. So I can imagine it's going to be passed. It's not able to be passed because there's a lot of posturing on it. But nonetheless, when you connect the dots on that one and it's ready to go, it, I wonder if it's going to be something that, that, that's, that's left lacking again. And there's far too much crime in society and acts of violence and discrimination against women in this country. And, you know, for 10 years, these groups worked on the gender-based violence bill. So, how do we get to um, protection against violence, Bill? It's beyond me. Shouldn't we go based on the data that was compiled for a decade? Rather than just something that you threw together that suits this administration better? For what reason, we still don't know, because it's lacking. And there's, like I said, there's far too many instance, instances of violence against women in this society. And it needs to be dealt with. Taking nothing away from the violent acts that take place amongst men in this country as well. And against men. But to see this bill, and to see numerous activist groups that have been working on this, get just that work got it thrown to the side, is highly disrespectful in my opinion. What say you all, though? Let me hear from you guys. Tax lines are open. Phone lines are open. Chime on in. All right, let's go to the phone lines. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Who's this? Hey, good afternoon, Naughty. How you doing? Hey, what's going on? Is this Anton? Yes, sir, it is. <laughs> what's going on, big Anton? Everybody good? You and the fam good? Yeah, we radio, we radio all and on, you know, radio all and on, Nadi. I, I listen what to you your conversation. What you got for me today? Huh? What you got for me today? All right, I listened to the conversation yesterday. I heard, I heard some people join the little jazz at me, <laughs> but some days you listen and some days you call in, you know. But um, um, I listen to GNN. I want to comment on something that GNN spoke to, and then uh, the, the the last caller that that spoke to um. um well, really, generally what the leader of the opposition, Michael Pentag, has been speaking to regarding the employee side, the Department of Immigration, right? Start right. with GNM. Look, the transfer of keys, the turnover of keys took place under the former failed and voted out FNM administration, right? Whatever adjustments in those engines would have taken place, that former administration accepted. That had nothing to do, absolutely nothing to do, with the Progressive Liberal Party, led by the Honorable Philip Brave Davis, Prime Minister of this but country. But Anton, didn't this administration cancel the contracts and go they, to some consultants? Uh, absolutely. Consultants? Absolutely. Absolutely, Naughty. Absolutely. And, 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 and here's the thing. Here's the thing. You can't say that you believe the um, um, CEO of BPL, right, when he comes on a talk show and speaks to a model and believe that overnight, 
the man is going to lose his integrity to speak to another fact. See, see, Naughty, you revealed, you revealed during your conversation with JNN that the engineers may not, may not be in a position to speak to what they know is happening because it's unprofessional, it's unethical, and they are not supposed to disclose the private affairs of BPL. But what do you think occurs with the CEO, the chief executive officer? He would, he would be held to an even higher level of scrutiny, of expectation, of authority, because of the knowledge and the information that he has about the inner, in the inner circles and inner runnings of BPL. However, after the chief executive officer of the country, all of our bosses who work in, in the service spoke to the matter. He was then free to come back and address the matter and explain from a technical perspective that, yes, they were um, um, tri, tri fuel engines, right? However, because of the adjustments that was made, they are no longer tri fuel. And the savings that we expected to derive from those engines, we cannot realize those savings any longer. And in order, and even worse, Nori, in order for us to realize those savings, in order for us to make those engines tri fuel again, it's going to cost the government close to $30 million because we have seven engines. And he said that he said that it, it, it costs approximately $4 million per engine right now. Well, Anton, yes. I get all of that. And I appreciate the CEO of BPL mm. clarifying things. Because mm. you know, and I know, the PM leads the league in misspeaks, misspokes, and misspeaking. Well, so no, it, I'm it, glad it, there was clarification to that. Right. Now, so, my so, second so question. What, what, what fuel does those engines run on? Not bunker sea fuel, right? Those engines are, have been running predominantly on bunker sea fuel. And who provides they bunker run on sea LNG. fuel to the government? Pardon me? Who, who provides bunker sea fuel? Well, who do we buy from? They purchase them on the international market. However, no, logistically, no, and not, hold on, hold on, hold on, Naughty. This is another area where a lot Coco? of people, Naughty, can now. you hear me? Keep it a hundred. No, no, Dottie, can, can you hear me? Yes. I, I will always keep it 100, um, on my brother, especially with people like yourself who also keep it 100. There is a misconception that exists in the country even to this day. FOCO does not provide the government with fuel. What, what, what the government relies on FOCO for is their, 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 their logistical ability to get the fuel out to the various islands where it is required for BPL to function because they already as they already have an established infrastructure or network where the government can run its fuel through to get it to where it needs to go. They do not provide fuel to the government of the Bahamas. That's a misconception. And it's sad that people run on with that out of ignorance, clearly. But focal does not provide the government with fuel. So they have a signed contract to provide services including fuel? They provide the government access to their to their logistical network to get the fuel where it needs to go, Naughty. And 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 none mm. other, no lesser than Sir Franklin Wilson was on Guardian show and explained that. And he was also in the media. He explained that Anton, himself, Naughty. Training and, 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 and if I could end on, on my final point. Pardon me? I say NFL training camps are for me in preseason yet. I got a couple of more days to read up, so I, yeah, I can do yeah. some due diligence over the weekend, so if I call you out on Monday, on this, you know what I'm calling you for. Absolutely, absolutely, and I'll be listening. Can I end on my final point with the, um, um, with the uh, BP, sorry, with the uh, immigration employees? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Naughty, all of this noise that is being made in the public domain, here's what everyone is overlooking. The day-to-day -day operations does not fall at the hem of the minister of immigration. The day-to-day -day operations falls at the helm of the director of immigration. And so all of these police that people are trying to put on the minister. Boy, and and look here, Naughty. <laughs> Naughty, this is no disrespect to the director. And I'm not seeking to throw the director under the bus. But I'm seeking simply to speak truth to power and facts. The director has the responsibility and her team 
assist her in executing her responsibility of the day-to-day operations. So all of these things that the people are talk- talking about in the public domain, they fall at the feet of the director. And so if you want to call a spade a spade, Nodding, if you want to be honest, Nodding, the problem is not the minister. And, 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 and if we really want to put some blame on the minister, then we could say, minister, now that all of this information has come to pass, that has been still occurring under immigration, and you are the minister of immigration, what are you going to do to address the people who you put in place to oversee the day-to-day operations? What are you going to do to ensure that their inadequacies no longer exist, that they can operate efficiently, or that the necessary moves are made to put the people in place who will operate efficiently? That is where we truly should be. If you are technical mind, and if you understand how to analyze what is happening... Is the fault of the director of immigration that the dishonesty of the minister in all of this? No, 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 no. The no. behavior is the fault of the director? No, 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 no. I'm talking about persons staying in the country and working who are not who are not authorized at the time because they did not have in place the um, um the, the the requisite yeah, uh, permit Anton, or the permit minister, in the order minister to minister work. The minister got involved in exercising authority and power to rectify the situation. Then <laughs> he's <laughs> now involved. Saying this for you, Ben, there, right, Nori. It is bad that the minister had to come on the back end to try and clean up or a I'm mess. Done, that's that your best spin for the week. That you saved it for Friday, but that is your best spin for the week. <laughs> that's not a spin, Nori. It's not. A, it's the truth, Nori. It's bad I'm that done. the minister had to come behind to try and clean up a a management mess that was that was allowed to exist for up to nine months in the country. It is bad that it took for the ministers who had the authority <laughs> in law, in statute law, who had the authority according to the Immigration Act. It is bad that it took for him exerting himself or interjecting himself into a situation that should never have rose to his level in the first place. Nori, that is what the is all talking about in the Prime Minister. Nori, hold on, hold on one second, Nori. Before I forget this, the Prime Minister is absolutely right. No civil... Look, if the civil servant wanted to report this matter, Nori, why didn't they go to the Minister of Immigration? Why didn't they go to his boss, the Prime Minister? Why didn't they go to the Cabinet of the Bahamas? Why didn't they go to the Royal Bahamas Police Force? Why did they go to... Why did that information end up in the hands of the leader of the opposition and the former Prime Minister who opposed f and m They are serious about no protection. Maybe they of, think... Of, of, maybe of, of, you of ever leaked it? Huh? Maybe you ever leaked it? doesn't feel that this administration is accountable or transparent. So maybe it wouldn't, so, it wouldn't get to where it needed so, to get. So, so maybe that's the so, route they took instead. So, Naughty, rather than making that assumption, put it to the test. And that would be, that would have, that would have held even more credibility if they had gone to the prime minister or the cabinet, presented their information, allowed for an investigation to take place. And if nothing took place or nothing was revealed in the public, then go to the, to the, to the media. Or, or even to the opposition if they wanted. But those persons who released that information, they were playing more politics than the leader of the opposition. And they are not good for business in this country, and not good for integrity, and not good for secrecy of people doing business with immigration. That should never I happen guess in this you're country. not for a whistleblower act in this country, Anton. And I guess what? I'm glad you went out, Nori. I am so happy you went out because what I'm talking about now, Nori, is structure. If we have a whistleblower's act, Nori, it would not incorporate taking information to no leader of no opposition or to no former prime minister. That's nonsense, Nori. That is nonsense. That's then put it together, like you say, put it together and let it play out. A whistleblower act, a freedom of information act, put the procurement act back on and make sure they declare too. Let, let us know who got what before they become ministers and, and politicians. So we know how they go from thousands of what, years to Nori, millions me and you are the same page. Do everything which you just said, everything which you just said, Nori, we are on the same page. I am for a Freedom of Information Act. I am for a Whistleblowers Act. I am for the um, members of parliament declaring. Those are what is going to bring structure and help to right. help to guide accountability and transparency. I'm trying to get another call. So I got to get to that. You have a good weekend. Go and spend no more until Monday. And as far as PPL goes, I got two words for you. Hedge fund. Let's get to the next caller. Talking heads. Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Who's this? Hey, Silverdoll here. What's going on, Silverdoll? Listen, I'm trying to get out of my throat what Anton just pushed on. 
because I got what it takes to handle that. No, 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 no. That's a bit much for me. Whatever is in his cup, I want some. <laughs> because it's impossible it's, it's yellow for you to for you to to say the persons of, of, of the director of immigration is responsible when the director of immigration or the PS wrote the PS and saying what the minister is doing is uh, and continue remember what they say continue to do is unfair to them carrying out their work. You understand me? And he is saying he is all for whistleblowers, but now you trying to chop the same whistleblowers with a cut. Let's come on, man. Make up your mind. Whatever is in his cup, I want some. So now what but I'm going to say. Why, I don't what know I'm why gonna Antoine say is so upset is, over leaks. Isn't that, that how this administration came to power? Based off leaks? Exactly. And digging in the trash cans? Exactly. You understand me? All they are trying to do is frighten other persons who want to come over with information. But if they, when they find themselves in opposition, then that's where all the information needs to come out. Because they are the only one that's supposed to have the information. You understand me? Anton and needs to stop. Be a Bahamian first. Look out for what is best for Bahamians first. And you are talking about BPL and the, and the, and the, 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 the general manager, whoever that was, who was on. Come on. Come on. You all are starting to scare these people. Come, I mean, come on. Those days are done with. The long gone, the days when you can um, 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 intimidate persons to get what you want for your party. Long gone those days. And more people need to stand up and speak out. You understand, you understand me? I don't know I where do. Anton Head is, but he is not. And I repeat, he is not and cannot be a bohemian. I refuse to believe that. The way he is talking is like, as long as it's not against the PLP, then it's a good thing. But if it's against the PLP, it's a bad thing for this country. It's a bad thing to, to, to put out there and person should never listen to it because it's wrong and, 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 and this, that, and the next thing. Blame everybody. Blame everybody. He's talking about leaking the information to the prime minister or the cabinet. That information would have never seen the light of day. So uh, tell Anton, stop it. I think it's a little too late for him to try to spin this right now because I think it's already reached the court of public opinion and I think people have voted and <laughs> the jury's already in. Exactly, so why is he trying to beat something there that nobody, I, like I say, I don't know who else is listening in and I know everybody is listening. I know my hand was down my throat trying to bring some of that stuff back up before I missed and swallow garbage. But, uh, obviously, you know, Anton is one of that intellectual supporters so obviously he could take it on if, if you if you look for the the trollery that exists in the chat rooms on social media they can't touch this so okay. i guess they got to stand where they talk you, that there. is so wrong so you know what i'm gonna put my two cents uh, um, um, in agreement with him all that water we had coming down from the sky in the last couple of days was not rain that was somebody on our roof pissing that was not rain you understand me so the dog Someone on all of our roof pissing. I go into the news. You have a great weekend. Okay. I'll hear from you Monday. Thank you. <laughs> and don't stand under no rooftop then. Let's get to the news, Mr. Producer. We'll take it over into the 5 o'clock hour. Phone lines will still be open. We'll still be cutting it up and chopping it up because this is a hot topic all week, man. And we're live. Dunkin' Donuts. Call Michael. Keep it right where you got it. A lot of folks are wondering... What is the Agrarian Awards? It's an award show to celebrate the people who produce the food that feeds the country. So September 16th, we're giving out trophies and money to young farmers, backyard farmers, sheep runners, goat herders, pea pickers, onion planters. Basically, everyone. But we couldn't fit all that on the invite, so we put Agrarian Awards instead. Go to adobahamas.org to find out how to nominate your favorite agrarian. The Agrarian Awards, September 16th. 
George Shoes and Accessories is your one-stop shop for all your footwear needs. Whatever the occasion, John's is confident you will find what you're looking for. Among our always growing collection of amazing and trendy styles, we cover women, men, children, the whole family. Together with John's great prices and helpful and friendly customer service, your experience in shopping with us will be time well spent. Too busy to come in store? Shop with us online, www.johnshoes.com. John's also now carries small home appliances, so come on in today at John's. Where we put fashion at your feet. The Bahamas Public Parks and Public Beaches Authority invites all private companies and civic organizations to adopt a roundabout. This is your chance to stand out from the crowd, beautify and enhance our local areas for residents and tourists alike. Just in time for the 50th anniversary of our independence. With this opportunity, you can engage persons on the go, generate media interest, and promote your company. Stand out and celebrate 50. For more information, you can call 242-604-3750. Ready for something very delicious this summer? Introducing the new Dunkin' Strawberry Cheesecake Ice Latte. Enjoy the bold flavors of Dunkin' Espresso and sweet, luscious strawberry, all topped with velvety whipped cream and irresistible cookie crumbles for a match made in latte heaven. Make Dunkin' Strawberry Cheesecake Ice Latte your go-to beverage this summer. The Bahamas runs on Dunkin'. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM, Nassau, Bahamas. July 28th edition of Talking Heads continues right now. We are live at Junkin, Carmichael location, getting it in. And of course, you know, it is all about that strawberry cheesecake latte, ice latte. It is all good. Strawberry cheesecake latte going on, get it, the donut combo. It's all good. All right. Now, let me get the, we got Pearly in the building. In the building, in the house. Pearly's in the house. What's up? You're back from being under the weather. I learned this feeling? week I'm not invincible. Or, as your friends would say, you learn this week you old. Hey, that's the way to put it. Hey, only your friends, brother. I only know, your bro. friends. I know. I'm feeling, Listen, it. I'm feeling it this week, boy. Now, you know you were supposed to be on yesterday with me and Roscoe. Yes, I know that. He sends his regards. Now you Tell need to bear with me. Tell him I apologize. We will, we will link up again soon. And today, you're going to go impromptu with me for a couple minutes, and then we're going to get into the sports. All right? Okay. Okay. Because I know you've been able to read the papers and check the news. And, everything. and we got callers. Yeah. What are the callers? I'll take some texts. We'll take the break, and then we'll get into sports. Okay, no problem. But we'll get your insight on some of these things. And of course, you okay. know the hot two topics. BPL. Yes. BPL. And Bell. That's it. Bell. Let's go to the phone lines. Talking as Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Who's this? Hello. Hello. Howdy. Hey. You can hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Good evening. And, uh, hey, 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 Burley. Papa, yo. Hey, hey, hey. What's up? Everything's hey, what's going on, Papa? Party. Everything safe for each other. Listen, um, I listen to I listen to uh, Anton, right? One of the questions or one of the things he was saying, um, how the minister could get better in immigration by like implementing doing certain things. My opinion is, the minister could what he really could do is resign. That's where they were saying get the the, the guts, the the, the, the intestinal fortitude, fortitude, or the political the will. Fortitude. Huh? Testacular fortitude. That's a good one, too. Got to check that one <laughs> on the minute and say how deep that one go. But the political <laughs> will to fire him, oh, oh, me, Mr. Davis might have more political will to, like, spite people like Papa and persons who speak their mind, who call this PLP, who help him to get there, victimize us. But he might not have the political will or the word poorly used 
to fire Keith Bell. Then, so I suggest Keith Bell resign. Now he was saying that Keith Bell. I mean, he ain't say he said that the, the, the Keith, the minister, ain't the problem. Sound like he's saying the director is the problem. What, what, what I feel like, and then then he mentioned that they should have taken the, the avenue, paraphrasing what he say by going to the commissioner of police and this and that. But we don't test that road. That, that, that scene in Abaco where we, we, we don't see when you report one of the ministers or one of the members of parliament, how the prime minister and everybody else, it seems like they drag in their foot. That's just how it seems. We, we, no proper. we, we ain't know what's going on, but we ain't there to know what they up against, right? But from the time the investigation was going on, now they're telling us the director them supposed to, or whosoever leaked the information, supposed to care to the prime minister or the commissioner of police or someone else. No, they do the right thing to the behemoth people can find what's going on. We say naughty. Well, listen, Papa. Uh I I think that, obviously, if it is leaked to the opposition, the option of taking it to the prime minister and the commissioner of police, they didn't have confidence in this administration that it would be handled properly or with due diligence. But the evidence is going to show the scene in our court. So they wanted to get it out. So Look I, how long I we wait for closure with Kobe. Look how long we had to wait for, for closure with the minister, Kobe Davis, before they say something. We ain't saying bring the man guilty, you know. But let this long investigation and, you know, then come back at the end of the day, still saying insufficient evidence. To, to yeah. just, but, but hurry up and say it and say what you have to say. No, I see why the people like that. They shouldn't try to fool with that director. What's your name is Frank? And I salute her. The Bahamian people need to gather and support her. And talking about move the woman, the carrier somewhere else, or threatening people them if they bring more information. They need to move Keith Bell. I saw a shame that no I have to put this New Day government in power. And all they can do is use their strength to victimize poor people like like me and others, peop- uh, uh, others out there. But the minister doing blatantly wrong, disrespecting the media. Then they come and trying to sidetrack us. To, to give us distraction. I know BPL important and stuff like that. Then putting their foot in their mouth, they all mix up. They ain't in touch with us, you know. They somewhere else. I believe they... Anyhow. Thanks, Naughty. Have a nice weekend, man. Well, God, I, I mean, what do you name him? Keith Bell need to resign, man. He need to have some yeah. test for have some shame about himself and resign. Keith Bell, forget he come from Nassau Village. He embarrassing us. He embarrassing the country. He embarrassing the PLP. A national disgrace, Keith. You should be ashamed of yourself. Go sit down. Wow. Pop, have a That's great heavy. weekend, man. That's heavy. Let's That's get to that other club. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Who's this? Hi, Naughty. How are you? All right. I listened to that dude, Anton. Uh-huh. You know, uh, I hope he listened. I right, just got to listen. Listen. If you call him, nah, let, me tell, let, me, let me tell him something. Brave Jesus is not the Bahamian people's boss. Okay. We, the Bahamian people, are the boss. Number one. Number two, who performed the citizenship ceremony at the funeral? Huh? Who lied to the Bahamian people multiple times? Who lied on Chester Hooper? Hmm? Uh, didn't, I, didn't that dude on Torn say that uh, Bell is his family friend? Well, him Correct. and Bell need to, need to sit around the table. And have dinner together. Get their story together. Then come back to us, the boss. Okay? And leave the director alone. Because all of us will come up on Hawkins Hill if they touch her. As simple as that. Simple. We tired of this not. Who the hell do they think we are? Come. And I tell you this. You sound like you're fired up. I got to get your shirt for that march. Medium. Medium. Got you covered. I'm sick and tired of down there. Boy, boy. Boy. Thanks for your call, but I appreciate it. One thing, one thing I love with BMA people, they don't stay in love with you long. No, sir. <laughs> and then when they fall out of love, then they kick it real. Yeah, for real. <laughs> but Pearly, I mean, the whole week, we've gone over into the 5 o'clock hour. Mm-hmm. Because of these two topics. And one I think was thrown out to be a distraction from the other, but both scream at deficiencies in this administration. One of the things we have to learn is the Bayman people aren't naive or dumb. We got a lot of sense, right? And, and they show you that sense. The fact that a lot of them 
See, what people don't really understand is a lot of Bahamians did not want Hubert Minutes and the FNM and did not want Brave Davis and the PLP. That's why they stayed home. So when you win a government and you win a government with them and with, with, a, with a less, uh, with only 60 some percent of the votes cast, don't make you believe that the world's supporting you. So you got to work extra hard to win the support of the people. You can't take it for granted that you elected or you just, you know what? Let me ride out this five years, get what I can get and take my cut up in five years. If that's what you're thinking, then fine. But the bottom line is you got to govern for the people and you and you can't be getting mad at people. The prime minister say the engines ain't working. That morning, the general manager, BPL, was saying this, this five engines working perfectly. Ooh, what's going on, man? What is going on? Purdy, I can only shake my head because listen to some of these texts. All right, this and and, and these this the, this the everyday citizen chiming in. All right, great show as usual, naughty. Um, tell Sparky. Cussing is our first language. He could do what he want in his voice notes. Um, Naughty, the call of this breaking down to him and people, BPL is going to either turn his light off constantly in the month of August or option two, hit his light bill up to at least 1500 a month for, for spilling the beans. Government should be encouraging civil servants to do their jobs with integrity rather than have them protect government and corruption. This is the reason for entrenched corruption that all, all and sundry is complaining about and pointing fingers. The director of immigration was protecting the country while Bell was allegedly You hear some of these texts, Pearly? I'm listening, I'm listening. Naughty, BPL doesn't have an LNG plant for those engines to run on. The PM is all about deflection. Stay focused. Antoine them on that dirty yellow Kool-Aid. Naughty, the bill that was uh, brought to the house was deliberate to appease the. Naughty, the bill that was brought to the house was deliberate to appease the church. I guess that that talking about the violence bill, which everybody is now against. Correct, and it had nothing to do with 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 none of the the, the activist groups that worked on it for a decade put forward. My whole so thing is, that's we put very, that one too, and the and the, mar and the, the marital rape bill still sitting there. What are we gonna do with that? Cor correct. You know they ain't gonna touch that. But you know, you know, you know, people saying, man, ain't nobody worrying, they waking, they making, they getting their salary. People got jobs, people working, ain't nobody checking. That's the attitude of a lot of people. More tax pearly. Check this one out. Naughty, please. Anton has his head buried in the PLP vomit. They could do no wrong in his book. It makes me sick. So, how did the current minister intervene in the current case? And why did he? Mm. And Naughty, isn't that how both parties got in power from leaks to the opposition? Isn't how this administration got in? No, Naughty, no, listen no, to no. Anton and the like. Me and my crew will never vote for Brave and Crew. They think we are the conch. So I think no. Bahamian people, like you say, in 2023... They wide awake and wide open. We got two more callers, Pearly. Let's grab them and then get to the break. Talking Heads, Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Who's this? Yes, good afternoon, Naughty. Hey, afternoon. Oh, I, I tried to call you right after Antoine was finished. Finish. You ever hear? They have a saying, saying, the more you stir up and shit, the stink it, yeah? Uh-huh. That's Antoine. Because after <laughs> listening to him, it tells me we really need a change in this country. I've never heard. Why you allow him? I'm upset with you, too. You know that, right? No, listen. But you allow Everybody him to got a roll right to present. So the let him have a say. Let him have a say. Pardon me? Let him have a say. Yeah, let him have a say. My goodness. Why? You know what upset them so much? The fact that she went to the opposition. That's where she leaked her story. Why she had to go to the What do you mean? That woman probably numerous times went to the minister and nothing happened. So what left for her to well, do? The letters, hmm? the letters are there to show that. That's what I'm saying. So what? The what, Texas, what is he saying? The, the Texas to take are there to show that. Yeah. Take it off of him and put it on her? What? What? What is What is this point? I swear to mighty I would have hung up on him. I would have never let him. No, but this is what the show is about. He voices okay, his, his opinion. 
and you voice your opinion. And now you 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 create a show and cover areas. We the what do you have to say? We still got that call. Yeah. Right, let's get to the other hands. Got in radio ninety six nine. Who's this? Talking heads. Oh, we lost your caller. Call us back. But Pearly, mm. a lot of passing of the buck and finger pointing, man. Oh boy, not good. It, it's not. So at the end of the day, here we are. Not good at all. Yeah, we, uh, we know better, but yet we frown on people trying to do better. Yep. At yep. the end of the day, I think that persons in those positions in those capacities should look for the protection of the country and look for the protection of the country's borders. They That's are civil servants. They are the professionals. That's what they've been trained to do. That person ain't just become director this week. That person worked up the ranks and earned the right to be, become director because they did a good job and they're serious about their jobs. We can't be... Let's we can't see if we be, have any um, more callers. All right. Well, this could be the last one. Apparently, we got Sparky. And then we'll get to the break. And then we'll talk sports. Sparky, what you got for us, man? We still got Sparky there? Talking heads. Uh, Nori, let me ask you yeah. really a question and the nation a question. Do the immigration have the power to arrest? They have the power to arrest the illegal immigrants. The immigration have, immigration have the power to arrest, right? Yes, I think Correct. so. I, I, yeah, I think so. Good. Now, why would they arrest somebody? Because somebody has is suspected of breaking the law, right? Or yes, the immigration the law. illegally. Same as the police, right? So yes. when the police put out information on a suspected criminal, or that they arrested a suspected criminal, is that leaking information, or that someone who broke the law? I see your point. I see Good immigration. Officers put something out there to, of someone suspected of human trafficking or breaking the immigration or the laws of this country. That is not leaking information. That's information for public knowledge. And the last thing I want to say with reference to the director of immigration, she never said she put that information out there. That information was sent to the PS office, which could have been leaked from there too. Exactly. Good point. Thank you very good. Thank you exactly. very kindly. Okay, brother. Have, Have a good, a good weekend, man. I think we got Sparky back early, and then we can get to the break. Yes. Sparky, what you got, man? Well, Naughty, see, I'm listening. Naughty, let me, let me say this. You know, sometimes, if you listen to Antoine, man, Perry Christie was in power, all you could hear was the right honorable Perry Christie. Yes, yes, yes. That's all you could hear. And then people like him, he might be professing to be a PLD, but he does want damage. To the PLB, if he's a member of the PLB Stalwart Council, they should call him in the main office and tell him off the radio. He does more harm to that party, our party, and anybody else. And then everybody, that every time the PLP comes, he surfaces again. Now the new name in his mouth is the Right Honorable Philip, Bear, Philip Edward Brave Davis. And he's doing this thing again. And, and talk shows, they allow him to run on with his foolishness. And he don't know how much PLPs, he envy, you know, the, he anger. He, he, you know, he's a very intelligent, well-spoken man. But he does more damage in this country to politics and the welfare of the fair, Bahamian people. Covering up for us moving forward rather than us moving back. We don't move back 50 years. We need to move forward now. You know, and, and not even the last thing you say. When we remember backwards, when Loftus Roker warned us about the immigration problems, no prime minister, none of them, listened to him. Taylor didn't listen, Ingram didn't listen, and Christie didn't listen. Now it looks like maybe they're not listening again. But when you see Loftus Roker, a retired politician, a retired lawyer who enjoys his day playing dominoes and checkers out by the bridge most of the time. Don't drink, don't smoke. But when you see him say this again, Lordy, and he tells the Bahamian people, watch out coming down the line. The Bahamas is no longer going to belong to you. And when we hear 
a Haitian man says, more out here than y'all. When we hear this kind of warning in our country, if we don't stand up and get together, and remember, Donnie, the only time any changes ever happened in this country was when the Bahamian people marched the bay. I didn't say the Bahamian parties, you know. I didn't say the union. I said when the Bahamian people got together and marched the bay, no matter who in the house is me, F for them, UBB, PLB, DNA, whoever it is, when the Bahamian people decide to get and say, enough is enough, we want our country back for us, our children, our grandchildren. I pledge my allegiance to the flag, the Commonwealth of the Bahamas. I pledge my allegiance to forward, onward, upward, together. Until we get to do that, we will suffer every five years. And I will be dead and gone. I am 72. And everybody around my age dying now. And Brave is one month behind me. He's 72 also. We will be dead and gone. But we got to make sure they leave this in the hands, not of the Haitians. Not of the Cubans, not of the Dogon, the Jamaicans, not of the French, the European, the English, American, and the King. Take this out of the King hands and give this to the Bahamian people. I nearly cough. Have a good day. All right, Sparky, enjoy you. You begin. Pearly, that's yes, real. Yes, Me and you've been up and down this road a couple of times, well, like Butch Cassidy yes. and the Sundance Kid. Have you ever heard the morale of this nation this low? Not this quick. Not this quick. But it's not just a, the fact that the, the voice of the nation seems to be incensed. It also seems very disenfranchised and demoralized. It's like, it's like, it's like you know, who the hell is y'all? Let's do as we say. Not. A- it, it really speaks to where we are, and it speaks to how important it is to think as to we who we elect moving forward. Yes. Who gets it and who don't get it. And you got to realize, exactly. you got to focus on the folks who get it. I agree. And people could say what they want about Sparky. When you hear a 72-year-old man say that, you know what, in one conversation, if they come from a contract, they come from a little cleaning the park contract, that's fine. It's about country. And then to hear that there's a whole section of this country that I always say people don't pay no mind to, the young and the elderly. And the senior citizens, they got pearls of wisdom. We wouldn't be where we are. If you don't know your past, you don't know your future. Wouldn't be no new school if it wasn't no old school. Maybe we need to to listen to what they're really saying. Because they've seen a lot more. And and when they say, hey, we got to protect this country for ours, They've seen it in every... Yeah. yeah. I agree. I agree. Anyway. anyway. We got to talk sports. So we're going to take the break. Flip side of the break. We'll do today in sports history just for you, Pearly. Brought to you and by Naughty Johnny. This is a huge weekend in baseball, so I can't wait for the break to come over. Let's talk about it. Yeah, you got some, some trade deadline maneuvering. And, and then we got to talk about a certain cornerback injured in Miami yesterday, too. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right. All right. We'll get all of that in on the flip side of the break. All as the July 28th edition, Friday, July 28th edition continues right after this. Cancer Treatment Centers of America is now City of Hope, creating one of the leading cancer care and research networks from coast to coast, providing more of what you need. More locations means more care closer to home. More specialists means more expertise. More research means more breakthroughs. More advancements means more treatment options. And means more hope. Learn more at CancerCenter.com. With fine style with elegant taste, then fine threads is your place. If you want those slots hemmed or just taking the waist, then fine threads is your place. If you want to look suave and debonair everywhere you go, like you're supposed to be in a video, want to step out and look great, then fine threads is your place. With fine style with elegant taste, then fine threads is your place. Is your place. Is your place. We're gonna give you a check every week for a year. Percy's Pension Plan. Island Dave, keep doing it. Percy's Pension Plan. 
Mashed potatoes with gravy and a hot buttery biscuit for only five dollars. That's genius. Part of the KFC Genius menu, the KFC five dollar snack box delivers on flavor and value. Need to feed more than one? KFC's great picks has got you covered. Packed with four thighs and four legs, fried to golden perfection, plus four buttery biscuits for only twenty dollars. More genius. Hungry for deals? The Genius Menu at KFC. It's finger licking good. This is Guardian Radio, ninety six point nine FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. I got you. On the Friday, July twentieth edition of Talking Heads, we're live from Duncan Dunn. It's called Michael. And it's all about that strawberry cheesecake latte, iced latte off the chain. Pearly, if you haven't had one, you better make sure I try one. Utter sweet indulgence off the chain. <laughs> now, listen, hit me up with your baseball stuff because we got to talk about Jalen Ramsey briefly because the final 10 today, Colin Coward has the latest update on that situation. So well, we'll let him take us home with your that. Mind, your mind of business is back today. Judge. Judge is back today. Here comes right. the judge. So, and he comes in good because y'all have a key weekend with Baltimore. Y'all only eight Correct. Games, so y'all can see Baltimore, y'all can end up being five games out right back in the race. Right back in it. And then but you, you need pitching for that, Pearly. And then you got the Angels who've been blue, been eight and one the last nine games at Toronto. So that's another big help for you. Then you Indeed. Got, then you got, you got the Brewers playing Atlanta. You get the Rays playing Houston. You got um and the Rangers at the Padres. These are a bunch of key games. This is almost like playoff weekend or building the playoff weekend early in the season. This is exciting. Cincinnati coming to LA. So that's gonna be a sweet a series. Of, this weekend could could reshape all the divisions, not just all the divisions. And and you guys. Pardon me? You you got you got the Diamondbacks and the Giants breathing down your neck, only four and three back respectively. No, no, they ain't breathing down my neck. We passed them. We was behind them. You forget we was four games behind the Diamondbacks. Eight. Correct. The Diamondbacks really have been folding. They really been folding. The Giants. The Giants playing solid baseball, but they ain't winning enough. No, they gotta win some and you're lose. But you know, this, they got a the, tendency to lose weekend. when you lose. Tuesday, Tuesday is the trade deadline. Um, I guess the Angels will not be trading uh, Oshani, so they say. Um, I don't know if I agree with them. They're taking a chance. But you know, but Pearly, is he against you now or turn your five days against you after the season over? At one point, they can be mad at you. Because if you, if you make a decision not, not to trade him, which I understand. You're making your plans the only three games out of the wild card. Um, it might make sense to make that run, but if you don't, if you don't, if you don't make it, then you 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 took that chance, um, and you got nothing. I'm telling you, man, pretty that 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 Yankee situation. I, I don't know if we got the pitching, bro. It's been the Yankees problem. Pitching has been your down, your downfall. But you know, with, with, you know, not really pitching so much so as you, you were scoring almost six runs a game, and Judd went out and you dropped down to three runs a game. Judd will bring some fire back in the team. Judd will bring some excitement back in the team, and he will be a factor. Now, is it enough? We don't know. But we know when you look at it, though, it's all bad. When you look at it, though, Yankees in position to make a run at that wild card. Yes. They're very yes. close to the wild card. You're not bad, OG. That's, you, you can't lose this weekend. You got to sweep Baltimore this weekend. They sweep Baltimore this weekend, though. That changes the complexion, like you said, of a lot of things. That does. That'll put you five games out. 
put you right back in the heart of the race and put you in, in the middle of everything. Um, you know, and everybody playing tough games. You nobody got no show win weekend. This tough games weekend for every just about every division. Judge come back and make a splash. Maybe get some momentum. I say I say he had a home run tonight. He may get one over the weekend for sure. Yeah, for sure. But you know, it's good. But, it's good. But I'm excited about this weekend. There's some good baseball this weekend. So let's wait and see how it goes. See what trades, what trades happen. Who get there? Who can pull the trigger on some trades? I think the Dodgers is going to pull. Going to make. I I think the Dodgers already picked up two players. I think we're going to pick up another three players before the trade deadline is done. Well, it's heating up. Yeah. Because moves are being made. Yeah. Lance Lynn traded to the Dodgers. Starting uh, pitcher Lance Lynn and reliever Joe Kelly from the White Sox on Friday in exchange for outfielder to Trace Thompson. And minor league pitchers Nick Nastrini and Jordan Lee Man, we get away. So, we get there for nothing. So but Trace is nothing. gone. And he'll probably be a starting outfielder for the White Sox. And didn't White Sox initially draft him? No, he's, he's a he was a Dodger, man. But he's he's out for the season. You know, I don't think he's coming back. <clears throat> All right. We wouldn't then, have uh, traded him. Dave, we thought we if we wouldn't have traded Trace. If we thought we had him, we had use of him. So, um, but I like to pick up a Lance Lynn and Joe Kelly. Joe Kelly's back home. Um, that brings some bullpen help. I'm excited about that. David Robertson. Traded to the Marlins from the Mets. The Mets traded reliever David Robinson to the Miami Marlins in exchange for minor leaguers Marco Vargas and Ronald Hernandez. That's a big. The Marlins taking this thing serious, and the Marlins making a serious run for the playoffs. Speaking of making a run for the playoffs and for that division, the Milwaukee Brewers just acquired Carlos Santana from the Pittsburgh Pirates on Thursday in exchange for minor league shortstop Johnny Severino. That was a good pickup for the Brewers right there. Yeah, but the Brewers in a, in, in a dog fight, so that's a good pickup for them. The Angels trade for right hand pitcher Lucas Giolito and Renato yeah. Lopez. Two right hand pitchers. The radar. I guess we didn't get him. And they got him from the White Sox for a pair of prospects left handed pitcher Kai Bush and catcher Edgar Aguero. That's now. That's, that those two this, prospects? Those two prospects? Well, um, that's those. That, that's their number one. That's their. I think number one and two prospects, which didn't even reach in the, which, which basically, like maybe twenty prospects below it in the Dodgers prospects. So we, if we really, we had like five prospects better than them. You know what I like to see, Pearly? How this come pan out in L.A. But that move to get Cleveland Guardian shortstop Ahmad Rosario. For Noah Syndergaard, that was a good move. That's a good move. He he kills left hand hitter by pitching. He kill, He's about three three oh two or three ten against left hand pitching. He's a big pickup for the Dodgers because we've been catching hell from left hand pitching. The Minnesota Twins and the Marlins swap right Wednesday. Craig Mish of Sports Grid reported George Lopez is headed to Miami, while Dylan Florio is going to Minnesota. And the Mariners got right hand pitcher Trent Thornton from the Blue Jays. Uh, okay, that's a minor move. Now, here's something that I like. This was kind of quiet. The Joe got infield to outfield to Kiki Hernandez from the Boston Red Sox. Man, he in exchange for minor league right-handed relief pitches Nick Robertson and right-handed pitches Justin Hegeman. Yep, yep, yep. He's 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 more as a he's there more as a um a versatile utility man. He can play almost any position. And he also is there as a more more of a locker room hype. He's Bring a good addition, Perry. So I, I like that pickup. I like that pickup. Right on the pitcher, Pierce Johnson. Left on the pitcher uh, for Taylor. Uh, Atlanta trades for right on the pitcher, uh, Pierce Johnson, and left on pitcher, Taylor Hearn. And this from the Rockies. Okay. And then they added um, Hearn from Texas. All right, so break right there, buddy. Oh, this is gonna be a busy weekend. This is gonna be a real busy weekend. Some play, some 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 players may come to play and don't when their team leave, may stay right where they are. Yeah, that's another thing. But trade that live weekend in Major League Baseball, you get benched tonight and show up in a new uniform tomorrow. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have been interesting to see if they had trade, if the Angels had trade Shohei, and he goes to the National League team. How is that going to affect his, 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 his vote for M MVP in the league or, or Cy Young? Yeah, that always is a, that always messes them up. Yeah. And especially if they switch legs. Yeah. All right, who you like tonight, Pearly? You know, we got to pick it in the island like game. The I like the Dodgers tonight over the Reds. I like the Yankees tonight over the Orioles. I like the... Uh, uh, I think the Toronto could beat the Angels tonight. The Braves over the Brewers. I, and the Astros I like that. over the Reds. I like the Astros. You know who I like? And and the I key like, game, uh, people, one more. The people don't know this how key this game is. I think the Mariners over the, the Diamondbacks tonight because the Mariners in the hard race for wild card. Correct. That's one that I like for sure, for sure. All right, Reds and the Dodgers. That's a nice game tonight. Yeah, that's a nice game tonight. I'll be watching it. Ellie, Ellie De La Cruz. Astros and the Rays is another good one, but I like Tampa Bay. I like I like I like the Astros tonight. They home. Trent trends over the Royals I like today too. Uh yeah, yeah. That's an easy pick. You gotta take chalk when you see it, brother. That's the only game that, that is not gonna be too much of a factor. That and the White Sox to the Guardians. Yeah, I think so. You right on that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, pretty. anything you got to add on this Jalen, uh, Ramsey situation? We get to the, the break of the call. Call and taking us home with that. Meniscus, it's just a meniscus. It's not an ACL. So he'll be back. They say December, uh, probably, uh, mid, mid November, which will be good. This is fine. We can, if we just hold our own till then, he'll be back in time for your game. So, Uga Philip from Igbehini? No, Koi, Koi. That's how I pronounce it, Koya. Cool. What you, what you can do with Mahini? Egg Mahini may get cut. Well, the, the only thing may keep him on the team now because Ramsey hurt. Because he was about to get cut. You know, I had an interesting conversation with some Dolphin fans, and they said Laramie Tonsto was good to them. And I said, well, if you look at Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddle, he was very good to you. But yeah, the jury's still out on tour, and the jury's still out on Holland. Yeah, yeah. And you had a couple other boo-boo picks in there that didn't work out, like Igbehini and a couple jury, others. The jury, the jury only out on tour because tour got hurt. Because when Correct. he was playing, there was no jury on him. Correct? Correct. So if, I, I think if he stays healthy, we'll see that he could be an MVP candidate. Not that he'll win it, but he can be a candidate. <clears throat> well, the key word is him staying healthy. Yes, that's the key word. All right, my brother. But well, I'm glad to know you're doing well. You feel well, better? hundred percent. But by Monday you should be. Hopefully, but I want to thank my babe. She really took good care of me, cooked for me, make sure I was all right. I really want to tell her thank you for that. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. I I'm glad to know that your significant other took good care of you. Yeah, she baby me a little bit. Because if you'd have left it up to me, I got one ran remedy from Sparky. It involves Look, a cat, I still, no, I still three wait limes. I still waiting on the orange juice you're supposed to bring me, so I wasn't waiting on you. But I leave it up to been dead. I can be honest with you. I had missed that message. I'm so sorry. Mm. But I'll, I'll make it up to you. I'll bring you some orange juice and then something in a white bottle to really chase the rest of it out. Sounds like a plan. You the man, Pearly. You the man. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Enjoy your Friday. Appreciate you, man. And for everybody who chimed in. And for everybody who chimed in and texted in and called in all week, man. Great stuff. And we're going to do it all over again on Monday. All right? And remember, right. enjoy your weekend. And if you be good. And if you can't be good, be good at it. And this is the last weekend of the year, Purdy, without football. Thank you, Lord. Is that not a good thing? And the thing about it is, it's so good now because the way they have a schedule, you could basically watch football every day of the week if you like college football too. 
Exactly. exactly. Don't let them know, Pearly. Don't let them know. We got plenty of money yeah. to win this year. It's called home. Oh, no, no, no. I tell you, Island, Island Games, I go, I go up shares and them. Tell them start writing up the papers. I, I they, come they, they, my shares too. Win the again. Pearly win the parlay again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> when you come around and see this big old house, I build, you can say build out of, of football and Island Games. But not off the Dolphins. But anyway, I, you let's know what? Break. <laughs> two words. Two words. How you going? Mr. Bedusa, get us to the break, man. We'll see you on Monday. Ready for something very delicious this summer? Introducing the new Dunkin' Strawberry Cheesecake Ice Latte. Enjoy the bold flavors of Dunkin' Espresso and sweet, luscious strawberry, all topped with velvety whipped cream and irresistible cookie crumbles in latte heaven. Make Dunkin' Strawberry Cheesecake Ice Latte your go-to beverage this summer. The Bahamas runs on Duncan. Collect. The Bear of the Bahamas has given you 5,000 more reasons to be proud to be 50. Just purchase a three-pack of Collect at participating liquor stores and bars for your chance to be one of our five lucky $1,000 winners. Winners will be announced every Friday starting June 9th. Collect's 5K giveaway to celebrate 50 years of independence is officially on. Just purchase three Collect for your chance to be one of five $1,000 winners. Follow Collect on social media for more details. Collect, the bear of the Bahamas. Drink responsibly, but... When faced with an illness like cancer, we band together. And we at Cleveland Clinic in Florida have your back. From advanced cancer treatments to extra safety measures at all of our locations, we're with you on this journey for every infusion and follow-up, for every step of the way, for every care in the world. Cleveland Clinic in Florida. Get the care you need when and where you need it. To learn more or connect with a local representative, Visit clevelandclinic.org slash Caribbean. George Shoes and Accessories is your one-stop shop for all your footwear needs. Whatever the occasion, John's is confident you will find what you're looking for. Among our always growing collection of amazing and trendy stuff. We cover women, men, children, the whole family. Together with John's great prices and helpful and friendly customer service, your experience in shopping with us will be time well spent. Too busy to come in store? Shop with us online. www.johnshoes.com John's also now carry small home appliances. So come on in today at John's where we put fashion at your feet. Tired of paying too many bills and loan payments each month? Shrink your monthly debt payments down to one easy payment with our debt consolidation loan. It also has a built-in savings that pays you 5% interest. Inquire. A Call 356-7764. Fried chicken, mashed potatoes with gravy, and a hot buttery biscuit for only $5. That's genius. Part of the KFC Genius menu, the KFC $5 snack box delivers on flavor and value. Need to feed more than one? KFC's Great Picks has got you covered. Packed with four thighs and four legs, fried to golden perfection, plus four buttery biscuits for only $20. More genius. Hungry for deals? The Genius Menu at KFC. It's finger-licking good. This is Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Uh, they're saying he's going to miss the start of the regular season. Mike McDaniel says, we don't know. Let's see how the surgery goes. Schefter is saying a few months, okay? Um, now, Colin... Again, it's late July. We do not want to overreact. Two months means he plays in September. Miami has the toughest schedule in the NFL. Oh, come on. Oh, my. Are you, have you looked at it? Oh, come on. Uh, okay. That is a starters. Jets fan talking. No, no. I'm dead serious here. They have eight games against teams in the top eight for Super Bowl odds. Eight. Buffalo's twice. Okay. And nine, Jets are twice. And nine that aren't. Okay. They got to face KC, Buffalo, and Miami. Where are the games at? And they got to face Buffalo twice and Miami twice. KC's in Germany. But here's what's interesting. So they about- don't have to go to Arrowhead. No, they go to Germany. And they get Buffalo once at home. Yeah, that's okay, how it let, works. let me see this. Okay. okay, so they go to the Chargers. That's basically a 50-50 crowd split. But timeout. The, the, the Jalen Ramsey, if he's going to miss some games, look who he's missing. He's missing Justin Herbert. Mac Jones will give him the win there. 
Russell Wilson, and those good and the Bills and Josh Allen. Now, I said, okay, well, who's going to take Ramsey's place? They drafted a cornerback in the second round out of South Carolina, Cam Smith. Are you starting a rookie? Yeah. Week one? Feel pretty good about Herbert? it. Yeah. You go a rookie against uh, Se- Russell Wilson and Josh Allen? Second round pick. Feel pretty good about it. By the way, you, you skimmed over the Patriots game, the that's Giants a win. That's game, a win. The, the, the Carolina stink. game, the Raider game. Well, no, no. Jalen Ramsey should be back for weeks five. And right, you said September. Titans we'll give, we'll at home. October. Jets at home. They're going to beat the Giants. The Giants are garbage. Uh, pa- Panthers are not good. That is not the league's toughest schedule. There's some, there's some, hey, Kansas City in a neutral field, like a huge scheduling break. It's a win that they don't have to go to Arrowhead, but they got to go to Germany. Germany is a well-known Dolphins hotbed. People in Germany love their brats and they love the Miami Dolphins. <laughs> okay. It's not like a home game in and, and, Dusseldorf. And the weird part is like, like we just, like you said, don't know what the status of two is. There's a lot of unknowns. Even if you don't think that's the hardest schedule, it's certainly in the top three. It is absolutely brutal. Listen to this five-game stretch. Bye, Raiders at home, Jets, Washington, Titans at home, Jets at home. Stop, stop. Stop with this Jets slander. Look at 15 through 18. The playoff push. They're hosting the Jets. They're hosting the Cowboys. They're in Baltimore, cold-weather game. And then they're... Uh, hosting Buffalo. It's not an easy schedule, but your claim that it's the toughest schedule in the league. All right. Well, well, I mean, you could go by win totals or whatever you want. That is a brutal schedule. Right. And they, the closing one, especially if two is not around, Mike White. How good? <laughs> how good is that as an opener? Mike McDaniel, yeah. Tua, Tyree oh. Kill, Jalen Waddell, at Keenan Allen. That's going to be out here, by the way. Oh, I know. You Mike Williams. Oh, I can get tickets to that. Yeah. Jeez, oh, sorry. I can get. I can get to that. <laughs> that is, that that's going to be the fireworks show of the weekend. How yeah. about that? Just look at the receivers and quarterbacks, coaches, backs. Kellen Moore, Mike McDaniel, Herbert Tua, yeah, Waddle, Mike offensive, Williams. Can I say offensive orgy? Can I say that? Not really. Fine, but you fi- did. fireworks. It'll be fireworks. I would have preferred not, but go okay, ahead. Okay, we did that. All right. So going from the third best team, final story here in the AFC East to the best team in the AFC East, the Jets. I slid that, slid that in there. They're hosting Dalvin Cook this weekend yeah. um, in an appearance on Good Morning Football today. This is a few hours ago. Cook spoke about why the Jets are the leaders in the clubhouse. You know, a Rod's a full-time, full-time MVP. Yep. So just being around a guy like that, you know, you can learn, learn a lot more and just develop as a player. So mm-hmm. that's what I'm looking to do. I'm just trying to, you know, go through one step at a time and, you know, the, jet, the Jets right at the top of the list, so let's go Let's go check the box. Don't think they need him. Don't think that's a priority. Well, I'm going to go ahead and guess the Jets have a better feel on what's up with Brees Hall than you do yeah, across well, they, the country. Yeah, that's what you said when they drafted Zach Wilson. Yeah, they had a better there. feel for the hey, position. Where J-Mac was wrong on Monday, Zach. What are my rare bad calls? Rare, very rare bad calls. Right. Teams don't always, you know, Denver thought they knew better on Tebow. Okay. Cleveland thought they knew better on Manziel. Everybody bangs on me for Darnold. Zach Wilson, Manziel, Baker, Jameis Winston. There are a lot of guys I was like, no! Drafting quarterbacks, it's almost like it's hard. Josh Rosen, is he even in the league right now? Well, he was Minnesota backup or something. J-Mac with the news. Well, that's the news. And thanks. Uh, They're saying he's going to miss the start of the regular season. Mike McDaniel says, we don't know. Let's see how the surgery goes. Schefter is saying a few months, okay? Um, now, Colin, again, it's late July. We do not want to overreact. Two months means he plays in September. Miami has the toughest schedule in the NFL. Oh, come on. Oh, my. Are you, have you looked at it? Oh, come on. Uh, okay. That just is a starters. Jets fan talking. No, no, I'm dead serious here. They have eight games against teams in the top eight for Super Bowl odds. Eight. Buffalo's twice. Okay, and nine, Jets are twice. And nine that aren't. Okay, they got to face KC, Buffalo, and Miami. Got it twice. KC's in Germany. But here's what's interesting. So they don't have to go to Arrowhead. No, they go to Germany. And they get Buffalo once at home. Yeah, that's okay, how let, it works. let me see this. Okay, okay so but, they go to the Chargers. That's basically a 50-50 crowd split. But timeout, the, the, the Jalen Ramsey, if he's going to miss some games, look who he's missing. He's missing Justin Herbert, Matt Jones. We'll give him the win there. Russell Wilson and those good Broncos receivers, and then the Bills and Josh Allen. Now, I said, okay, well, who's going to take Ramsey's place? 
They drafted a cornerback in the second round out of South Carolina, Cam Smith. Are you starting a rookie? Yeah. Week one? Feel pretty good about Herbert? it. Yeah. And you go a rookie against uh, Se- Russell Wilson and Josh Allen? Second round pick. Feel pretty good about it. By the way, you, you skimmed that's over a, the Patriots game, the that's Giants a win. That's game, a win. The, the, the Carolina thing. game, the Raider game. Well, no, no. Jalen Ramsey should be back for weeks five. And right, you said September. Titans we'll give you, we'll at get home, October. Jets at home. They're going to beat the Giants. The Giants are garbage. Uh, Panthers are not good. That is not the league's toughest schedule. There's some, there's some, hey, Kansas City in a neutral field, like a huge scheduling break. It's a win that they don't have to go to Arrowhead, but they got to go to Germany. Germany is a well-known Dolphins hotbed. People in Germany love their brats and they love the Miami Dolphins. <laughs> okay. It's not like a home game in and, and, Dusseldorf. And the weird part is like, like we just, like you said, don't know what the status of two is. There's a lot of unknowns. Even if you don't think that's the hardest schedule, it's certainly in the top three. It is absolutely brutal. Listen and to this five game. On. Raiders at home, Jets, Washington, Titans at home, Jets at home. Stop, stop. Stop with this Jets slander. Look at 15 through 18. The playoff push. They're hosting the Jets. They're hosting the Cowboys. They're ho- in Baltimore, cold weather game. And then they're uh, hosting Buffalo. It's not an easy schedule, but your claim that it's the toughest schedule in the league. All right. Well, well, I mean, you could go by win totals or whatever you want. That is a brutal schedule. Mm. And they, the closing one, especially if two is not around, Mike White. How good? <laughs> How good is that as an opener? Mike McDaniel, yeah. Tua, Tyree oh. Kill, Jalen Waddell. At Keenan Allen. That's going to be out here, by the way. Oh, I know. You Mike Williams. Oh, I can get a ticket to that, yeah. Jeez, oh, sorry. I can get I can get, sorry. I can get. a suite to that. <laughs> that, is, that that's going to be the fireworks show of the weekend. How yeah. about that? Just look at the receivers and quarterbacks, coaches, backs, Kellen Moore, Mike McDaniel, Herbert Tua, yeah, Waddle, Mike offensive, Williams. Can I say offensive orgy? Can I say that? Not really. Fine, fi- fireworks. It'll be fireworks. I would have preferred not, but go okay, ahead. Okay, yeah, we did that. All right, so going from the third best team, final story here. In the AFC East to the best team in the AFC East, the Jets. I slid that slid that in there. They're hosting Dalvin Cook this weekend. Yeah. Um, in an appearance on Good Morning Football today. This is a few hours.